Your Highnesses, Excellences, Ladies and Gentlemen. First of all, I would like to congratulate Her Highness Sheikh Hamoda, the First Lady of Qatar, and Mr. Kauchura Matsuro, the, direct, the Director General of UNESCO, for the joint initiative to organize uh, the regional conference in Doha. I also express my gratitude for invitation to participate in this important forum. Our conference is devoted to the educational issues, but of course it has direct links to the global problems faced by mankind today. A great disproportion which exists between countries and people in the access to the education and the literacy level is one of the main reasons of current sensitive problems. There are a lot of countries where the economic development is going together with the development of science, education and culture. And uh, population has uh, access to the latest achievements of progress. But at the same time, we also see the countries where people do not have possibilities to get an elementary education. The statistics say 100 million boys and girls do not have opportunity to go to the school. Around 800 million of adults in the world cannot read and write. In this regard, I want to underline in particular activities of UNESCO to support global literacy and the plans of this organization to ensure open and equal access to the education for all countries and people. Uh, the World Conference on Education for All and following up region meetings and conferences are excellent example of how it is possible to solve step by step, by step a lot of problems which concern us today. It is natural that such a conference uh, is being um, held in Qatar, which is the most dynamically developing country, not only in the Middle East, but in the entire world. Qatar today is a very good example of how the economic progress can go hand in hand with the development of uh, education and science. Uh, in a short period of time, Qatar has expanded its educational infrastructure at all uh, levels. Dozens of new schools have been opened. The creation of the education city where world-known universities uh, conduct research and teach the students is very successfully and timely, pro and timely project. And as a result of all these uh, reforms, Qatar today is becoming the specific scientific and cultural uh, center of the Arab world. Dear friends, I'm very glad to note that, uh, that Azerbaijan will ho host uh, the next regional conference on education in spring 2008. Azerbaijan today has uh, the world's fastest growing economy. In 2005, our GDP uh, grew 26%, in 2006, 34%, and this year we will keep more or less the same level. Uh, for, the sev for the several past uh, years, we have been reforming our educational system. Our goal is to create a modern education system which uh, meets the world standards and is based on uh, modern technologies. During the 20th century, Azerbaijan uh, has been forced to change its alphabet three times. Despite this fact, Illiteracy in our country is very low. 98% of population can read and write. The constitution of Azerbaijan guarantees uh, the rights of every citizen uh, to 11 years of um, compulsory basic education. The state program on development of education system have been successfully implemented today in Azerbaijan. Uh, a lot of new schools are being constructed and uh, fully equipped and computerized. The old schools are being modernized and renovated. More than 700 new schools uh, have been constructed across the country during last three years. 
All of this is a part of a state program to use oil revenues in the non-oil sector of economy. And I believe there is no better investment than investment in education in our uh, future, the next generation. The biggest problem of Azerbaijan is occupation for more than 15 years of 20% of our land by Armenia. As a result, uh, one million of Azerbaijanis uh, became refugees and displaced. Uh, part of them still live in, refugees, in refugee camps, and we try to bring these realities to the attention of international community. Despite of these uh, difficulties, the government is doing a lot uh, to provide the, uh, the opportunity uh, for refugees and displaced to get a good, a good education. Uh, I would like to say a few words about the Haydar Ali Foundation. The Haydar Ali Foundation was established in May 2004 to support and development of various, various projects in such a fields as education, culture, uh, healthcare, science, environment. Since its creation, the Edarli Foundation uh, has done a lot for the promotion of the cultural heritage and the development of education in our country. In the framework of our program, New Schools for New Azerbaijan, more than 200 schools have been constructed and fully equipped uh, in our country. Some of these schools are in the most remote villages. Uh, we pay particular attention to the education of uh, children living in orphanages. Their fa facilities have been uh, modernized and provided with, with computers and libraries. In the framework of our joint project uh, with UNDP, uh, the new special education center uh, with uh, audio library uh, was built in Baku for the children with eyesight problems. Our foundation has a very strong relationship with international organizations, especially with UNESCO and ISESCO. And in this regard, I think Azerbaijan can host the UNESCO Regional Center for Educational Issues. It can be a place where the working group, the working group on education for all program can meet and discuss uh, the progress in these fields. In conclusion, I would like to say that being in the heart of the Great Silk Way, Azerbaijan has been connection between East and West since ancient times. And today, uh, we, today again, we are ready to play a role of educational and cultural bridge. Once again, I express my thanks to the organizers of this conference, UNESCO and Qatar Foundation. Thank you for a very warm welcome, and I wish you success and productive work.